Leo, hey y'all, how are y'all doing? Welcome back to your Southern Intuition. This is gonna be your love reading for February. We're gonna take a look into that person that you got on your mind, what they're thinking, feeling, actions they plan on taking towards you, how you really feel, what the potential is, the roadblocks, and the outcome. I will clarify these energies and I will close the reading off with some messages from the ugly truth. The messages of love oracle and the enchanted love tarot, which is your lover's guide to dating, mating, and relating. Keep in mind, Leo, I do believe that everything connects eventually. And if it is your message to hear, you'll do so. And then please like, share, and subscribe. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Check your other placements. Don't forget. Let's see. What do we have for you? And we start. The sun. The situation in your life that's bringing you warmth, happiness, joy, and bliss. And that's what this is. This is your knight in shining armor. They obviously want to work with you. You want new opportunities with them. Hmm, your intuition's trying to tell you something. There is an ideal here that is ready to implement. A lot of passion between you and this person, Leo. Your person has an issue uh, making a decision. And it's about the direction that they want to go in. <clears throat> there is some sort of um, issue that's no longer serving you or them. But your outcome is a situation that needs to be resolved. Something needs to be made right here. Like you've got a lot of passion about this person. But something needs to be looked at in a different perspective. So overall, I'd say things are pretty good. So let's see what their thinking, feeling, and actions are going to take. Okay, there it is. Okay, yeah, they're coming in. They want your attention. You make them feel good. Yeah, they're your lover here. And they understand that this is the smartest thing to do. Like, you make sense to them. Let's see what you think, feel, and what you're doing. Oh, well, you want a new opportunity, but you seem to be ignoring that. Two of Swords. There's something blocking you. An Empress energy. Huh. You're trying to avoid something here with this brand new beginning. Interesting. You're trying to avoid this choice. But the right decision will be made. It's a justice in the outcome. The right decision will be made. And it's going to be the one that makes you happy. The sun. The magician. And you're creating all of this. With your king of wands. Daddy with the wand here. I don't see you letting go of this person anytime soon. I don't know what your indecision about is here. But I think. Ultimately, as long as you listen to your intuition, you'll be okay. Just give it some time, Leo. Let's see what the ugly truth is. You're not letting go of this anytime soon. I wonder if you would be happy without me. And I regret lying to you. Oh... So maybe that's what it is. Someone was afraid here to speak the truth or tell the truth about a situation. I don't know if it was like a bad thing. I kind of get like, do I look fat in this dress? And they was like, oh no. But then when you looked in the mirror, you was like, oh my God, I've got, you know, my love handles rolling out the sides. <laughs> oh, holding back. I should have expressed myself better. And hope. I haven't given up on us yet. That's beautiful. Let's get you the enchanted love. For Leo. Hmm. We're just going to pull this one. 
And we have the Hierophant tradition, the powerful emperor here. Somebody is kind of holding back from making a move. But <clears throat> maybe if you go by the book here, it says this is an interpreter of the arcane knowledge and sacred mysteries. From humanity's earliest times, in this card we see a powerful shaman contemplating a stone sculpture of a wise being from his tribe's distant past before using its secret spell to awaken his sleeping lover. You encounter or have to become a wise teacher, a spiritual practice, a meditation, an affirmation, or a tarot can guide you on the path to true love. That path could be wedding aisle, for the Hierophant blesses unions and formal matrimony and reunites lost loves too, but only if you go by the book. If you are looking for love, present yourself as a representative of the best of your culture has to offer. You can best stand out by fitting in, using established styles, manners, and methods so well that you impress and attract a wonderful lover. Don't try to impress potential partners with how wild and unpredictable you are and don't get involved with any talk of nonconformist either. If you are in a relationship, you must calm down, take the high road, and be the wise, serene teacher. Being conservative and traditional matters now, so you must draw clearly defined boundaries and roles. In any case, make sensible decisions, avoid drugs, alcohol, and even the hint of sexual proscrimity. Play it safe, act like an adult, and stay on your best behavior. If you do, your friends and family will love you and your partner. Hmm. Wow. And that's pretty good. Don't give up yet. <laughs> that's what I have for you, Leo. As always, good luck with that.